Hey everyone, it's me Kat again, and I'm back with a pre sac anime vlog because it's coming up in a few weeks, and I kind of can't believe that it's coming up again because it feels like it was just yesterday that I was there for sac summer, but it's coming up again. I know winter comes so fast after sac summer, and it's just goes by so quickly. So, but I'm really excited for this con because of a lot of reasons. Um, and I finally have my lineup finalized and today they just posted the autograph schedule so that helps me plan my lineup and schedule. I had to move things around a bit but it's now finalized and I will tell you what my cosplays are. I had to drop at least one of my cosplays or two for multiple reasons and I will explain those after I tell my lineup. So for Friday I'm going to be doing Merida from Ralph Breaks the Internet in her casual outfit like all the casual princesses have their outfits and I have a whole group of casual princesses from the movie for Friday for the gathering and for a photo shoot and I'm really really excited because we have a full group and we have even extra ones we have a couple non-official princesses as well and i'm just really excited because we have such a big group and i'm really excited and then later i'm gonna be sheeta from laputa for the second half of friday saturday i'm going to be doing chuya from dead apple bungo stray dogs the movie and i'm hosting my gathering at 2 45 p.m on saturday so 2 45 is my Bungo Stray Dogs gathering on Saturday, so hope I see you guys there. And then the second half, I'm doing Edgeworth from Ace Attorney, um, because his voice actor from the anime is going to be there, so I'm dying to meet him. So I'm going to be revamping my Edgeworth cosplay, but I'm doing older Edgeworth from the later games, and I'm excited to do that. And then Sunday, I'm going to be doing Yuki Soma from Fruits Basket because they also have Eric Bale who voices Yuki. And this is kind of a last minute cosplay because I know you guys were expecting me to do Soma and everything, but the thing is there is no Black Butler gathering for this convention. And I had originally planned to bring him mainly for that reason because I just wanted to get photos of him as him with, you know, other cosplayers and just, you know, go to the Gathering of Soma and kind of get back into the fandom and everything. But, like, there is no Gathering this time, so I decided to not hassle with bringing him because it's a big, long coat-like thing. And then there's the wig, which I'm afraid of packing right now. So I'm not gonna stress over that right now. So I will wear him for, like, maybe a photo shoot, you know, a local photo shoot around here so I can get some nice photos of him because I went through a lot to get that cosplay together. So I'm going to make sure that I make him worth it. So I'm going to at least do a photo shoot probably before the year ends if I can. I still need to get pants for that cosplay too. So like, I don't know. I can always do a shoot early next year if I have to. But I will do a shoot of Soma sometime soon. Anyways, so I picked Yuki because I've been getting back into Fruits Basket and especially because the new anime is coming out next year and I'm so excited. It's one of my favorite series, so... And then I remembered that, you know, Eric Bale's gonna be there. I was gonna meet him for Phoenix because he also voices Phoenix, right, in the anime. And I was gonna meet him as Edgeworth. I was gonna meet both him and Chris, who voices Edgeworth. I was going to meet both of them as Edgeworth, but I thought, you know, with all the Fruits Basket hype, and since I can use my Edgeworth wig for Yuki, I might as well get that cosplay together for Eric, because I've kind of wanted to do more Fruits Basket cosplay, since you guys know I did Kagura and whatnot, but I thought I could easily do Yuki for Eric, and I think that will be a lot of fun to do for him, and I'm excited, and... So I decided to just do that as a last minute type of thing. Um, I do also want to do a few other characters too, like Katsuharu and Saki. So that'll be fun. I remember a long time ago I wanted to do Kisa, so I don't know if I'll do her at all. Eventually, maybe. I would like to. She's really cute, so I would like to be here as well. And I did kind of want to do Ayame. I'm not entirely sure, but 
And I do love Shigure, too. There's just so many good characters in that series. It's just, I love them all. So anyways, um, not much else to say right now, except my room's kind of messy because I've been getting ready for Sack and stuff. Um, I have, this is actually right here is something for Fanime. This green thing right here, it's supposed to, it's going to be a book when it's done. And it's going to be for my Takashi Natsume cosplay from Natsume Eugene Cho. It's going to be his book of friends, basically. So once that's done, yeah, I, I've started early on the anime stuff. I actually don't have much to do for the anime cosplays because they're all practically done. So I'm really glad that I won't have to stress about getting stuff done for Fanime because a lot of them is stuff I'm bringing to SAC because I'm going to be doing Shida for Fanime and I might do Hatsuharu or Yuki for Fanime as well because of Fruits Basket hype and stuff. So that'll be easy and then I'm not sure if I'm bringing Edgeworth um, but a lot of my other cosplays are done. Reno is done. I'm bringing Reno to Fanime and he's already done. So, like, it's going to be a real easy fanime next year, and I'm so glad. But I will talk about that probably after Sack Winter is over. So, look forward to that. And other than that, there's not much else to say right now. I've been getting also ready for Christmas and stuff. And I've been working on gifts for people, like family and stuff. And, yeah, it's going to be a nice, quiet Christmas, I guess. I don't know. Um... I just, I'm trying to think of what to say, but I don't know. So, um, yeah, that's just a fanime thing. And I actually have my casual Merida right here hanging up. As you can see, the shirt. I did the design myself for the most part. I just, I recently recolored over it because it was white. And so I made it a more accurate color. And then behind here is the shirt I wear outside of it. I just got that shirt at a store so it's like it, I didn't make it but I did do the design on the shirt so yeah but yeah I'm excited to do that oh and here's my Chuya wig it's finally on a wig head and it's my dead apple hat as you can see I really like this hat it's it fits over the wig without looking too small so I'm thankful for that and it's a really nice hat and I added the red stripe on it so yeah it's a really good wig and i love it so and it's my sheeta belt right here so yeah i recently did a shoot of sheeta at the getty center a couple weeks ago or so it was a lot of fun and it was really nice time of day the sun was setting and we got a lot of amazing photos so if you want to check those out i'll be posting them to my instagram at some point um, but I will link that in the description if you want to go follow my cosplay Instagram and everything. But other than that, that's all for now. And I've been thinking of going back to my Disney Ghibli channel and doing some Disney vlogs and Ghibli vlogs. Because I haven't done any since, like, the vlogging every day in April and I feel so bad. But I will get back to those eventually when I can. Hopefully soon, maybe sometime this weekend, I will do a Disney vlog or Ghibli vlog. We shall see. I won't get to that, though. Anyways, so that's all for now, and I will see you guys next time. So, bye!